What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. We check out the latest gear and gadgets for modern families. Hey, if you dig this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Now, as you can probably tell, we live in a beautiful spot back in the woods in North Tennessee, and we like to spend as much time outside as we possibly can. Uh, two of our favorite things to do are sitting out here uh, with a fire pit and grilling. Now, we covered fire pits extensively in one of our last videos where we covered the cello stove and a model from Brio and just a bunch of other options, so make sure to check that out. But in this video, I wanted to cover one of our favorite things to do out here, and that is grill burgers and steaks. Now, I'm gonna be honest right up front and say that we have probably tried just about every type of grill on the market. I've had gas grills, charcoal grills, kettle grills, the egg style grills, uh, and we currently have a Traeger right now that I really love, except for the fact that I feel like it sucks at grilling. Um, it's awesome for smoking, it's awesome for doing interesting types of cooks at different temperatures for long periods of time, but I feel like it's really, really bad about doing the staples that we wanna eat constantly. Burgers, grilled chicken, steaks, all those things. When we do them on our Traeger, you can get some good smoke on them, but it never really gets that char, that really good grill style feel that you want from those sorts of foods. So for that reason, I've been looking for just a top of the line, awesome brainless charcoal grill, and that led me to the awesome solo stove grill. We've been spending time with our solo stove grill for about a month now, and I've done probably a dozen different meals on it. So I've got a pretty good sense of how it handles and what the pros and cons are. So let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with a solo stove grill, it takes all the things you love about a solo stove product, all that awesome airflow and just really cool design, stainless steel build. It takes all that and puts them into a really interesting charcoal grill. Uh, now, if you're familiar with Solo Stove at all from their previous fire pits or maybe their little camp stoves, you know that they are all about that double combustion airflow style design. Uh, so this grill itself uses a really interesting model where it doesn't do the double combustion where it tries to eliminate smoke or anything, but it does suck in air through the bottom of the grill, channels it up through your charcoal, and tries to give a really awesome even heating temperature the entire time that you grill. Um, and we'll talk more about how that performs here in just a second. Um, let's spend a few minutes talking about what actually comes in the box when you order this thing. So it comes in a big old box full of stuff. Um, there's so much stuff inside, it's kind of like opening a clown car full of grilling equipment. Um, so you'll get the grill, you'll get a cover, you'll get a big carrying bag, you'll get grill tools, um, there's a bag of, of charcoal in there, um, you'll find a bag of fire starters, um, just all of these different things that you would need to build and use your grill over time. Um, now the model they're currently offering on the website comes with both the short stand and a tall stand. Um, and so all in all, you get everything that you need for a optimal charcoal grilling experience. Also a lid, I, th I think I forgot to mention a lid because there's so much stuff. Um, but all in all, it's a really neat, really complete package. Now, when it comes to putting it together, uh, thankfully the process is really simple. Um, unlike some grills you may get where you have to assemble every little part and uh, even screw on the handles and do that sort of thing. With a solo stove grill, everything comes mostly assembled. You just kind of take it out of the packaging, take it out of the bags and screw things together. Uh, the one exception is the stand part itself. Um, and that comes in a few different pieces where you'll slide different parts together and take the included screws and little Allen wrench. Um, and slowly post that together. Um, but all in all, it's, it's a super easy process. You'll probably have the grill ready to go in really like 10 minutes unless you're really slow at following directions. So before we talk about how this thing performs with your steaks and your burgers and your chicken and everything, let's talk about how easy it is to actually get it going. Um, and the good news is it actually is really easy to get going. Um, so we talked about that airflow design um, and that convection style cooking, and that's all because of these holes you see along the bottom of the grill. Again, very similar to their fire pit style uh, products that are out there. Um, so it'll use any kind of charcoal. You can use regular charcoal you find at the store or like that lump wood charcoal that a lot of people use in like a big green egg. Uh, most of the time I ended up just using the Solo Stove grill packs. Uh, this is one of those surprising things I found out during this review. This is actually a really good charcoal. It smells fantastic. It lights really easy. Um, it cooks really easy. It's, it's really, really good charcoal. So um, you just kind of scatter that throughout the grill um, on the grill grate surface at the bottom, um, kind of in a dome. And then you can take fire starters or you can use a chimney method if that's your thing. But if you really want something simple, you can use their fire starters. You can use any brand that you get. But again, um, these are surprisingly good fire starters. They're made out of kind of a a resin and a kind of wood remnant material, um, but these light up really good. So I found for the best results, you put about four of those in there um, and let it go for a while. Uh, so one of their big claims of this grill is that it'll be up and running, charcoal's ready to go and ready to cook in about 10 or 15 minutes. And I gotta be honest with you, that was not the case for me. Um, now it did get faster over time, the more I experimented with it and how to light it and how to let the air in and that sort of thing. But most of the time when I got the grill going, it was easily a good 30 minutes before I was able to cook on it. 
Now that still seems a little bit shorter than most of the other charcoal grills I used, but um, if you're hoping to get this grill and set it up and have burgers ready to go um, to put on it in about 10 minutes time, I don't think that's accurate. It's gonna be about 30 minutes. Um, but once you do get it going, I can tell you that this thing gets blazing hot consistently and stays there for a long time. Uh, if you cooked on charcoal in the past, you know that um, you're normally having to fiddle with dials or open and let air in and that sort of thing. Because of this convection design, it stays blazing hot where you can barely put your hand over it, um, which you want with any grill. You want it to be hot enough to cook stuff, but it stays at that perfect hot co cooking temperature, uh, which makes for a really great grilling experience. So now that we talked about how to get it going, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this grill. So kicking things off right away with the pros, uh, like I mentioned, this thing stays at the perfect grilling temperature. Um, if you're looking for nothing else in, the, in a grill, then getting the exact temperature you want where you just light it, it's the perfect temperature for burgers, steaks, and chicken. You don't have to mess with it, you don't have to do anything in it, then this is the grill for you. And that's something that I think is a major win uh, for this style grill. Um, another thing I really liked is this lid. Um, here it is right here. So this lid includes this little latch on it that allow you when you're flipping your burgers or putting stuff on, it just goes right on the side of the grill and perfectly stays on there. So you don't have to put the lid on the ground and get it gross or have a, an extra set of hands just to hold the lid when you're flipping burgers and doing stuff. I find myself using that feature all the time. Um, also, the grill is really solid. It has a good, um, it goes into place really well. The air control on it's really great. I gotta be honest, at first when I unboxed it, the grill um, doesn't feel quite as sturdy as the rest of the, or the lid, I'm sorry, doesn't feel quite as sturdy as the rest of the grill, but in use, I kinda like the lighter weight um, and just the firm fit of the lid. So um, that's a really big perk of this grill. Another big perk is the, just the overall highly functional design. This thing is over-engineered to the max. Uh, people have been making charcoal grills for years and years. Uh, but they're really doing some interesting stuff with this, from the convection airflow design to uh, how easy it is to take down and, and set up and store and that sort of thing. Um, I also like, uh, here we'll take this lid down again, um, I like how the grate system works. You can pull up this grate um, and kind of rearrange your charcoal and get it moved around after it gets going. Um, again, it just lifts right off, uh, really easy to take that out. The ashtray down there, um, I'm sorry, the, the charcoal uh, grate, that's easy to lift and take out and clean, as is the ashtray. Um, as far as any grill that I've owned, it has to be um, the easiest grill to care for. Um, even the, the top quality materials, the 304 stainless steel, is really easy to keep clean with a um, barkeeper's friend or another product like that. Um, it gets a nice patina on the inside, just like the fire pits. It still looks really nice on the outside. And I have to say, that is one of the biggest perks of having a grill like this. People know the Solo Stove brand, they know those cool fire pits they see at the campgrounds. So when you have this grill out or you have friends over, you're gonna get comments on it. I know that's not what you buy a grill for, or you're not going for street cred, but you do get street cred uh, with a grill like this. The final really big pro for me with this grill is how easy it is to tear down um, and clean it up, and also how fast it actually cools down. Uh, so when I had a big green egg style grill for a while, um, it was really cool, it got really hot, but man, that thing, like if, if you're gonna grill on it and you knew a storm was coming through later that night, you better hope it cooled down in time to put a cover or something on it. Um, that is not the case of this design. It cools down really fast, again, really easy to clean. Um, like I mentioned, being able to take off that grate, take off the charcoal grate, the ash pan just lifts right out. So the next day, you just take your ash down to wherever you need to dispose of it and dump it out. It is so easy. You're not having to reach or do weird angles or unscrew stuff to try to take apart the grill and maintain it. Um, it's super easy to maintain. It's really quick to cool down. Um, but overall, yeah, it, it cooks great, stays really hot, um, looks great, super functional. Um, there's lots of things to like about this grill. All right, so we've talked all about the pros. Let's spend just a few minutes talking about some of the cons because there are a few things to consider when you're shopping for grills and this is one of your options. Um, probably the biggest con for me is over-engineered and awesome as this thing is and how it's all pieced together perfectly and everything slots together. Um, it really bums me out that it's not more portable than it is. Um, now it comes with a pretty nice carry bag. It comes with an awesome cover. Um, super easy to put on and super easy to stow away, but um, this, the grill unit itself is actually separate from the legs that you assemble um, as part of the assembly process. And the legs just, they don't collapse or anything, uh, they don't fold and stow away, they always kind of are out there and cumbersome, this extra thing that you would think you could just twist and stow and put together and it stow away in this nice package that would be perfect for tailgating or RV camping or that sort of thing, but it always seems to take up just a little bit more space than you'd want it to take up. So. Um, that's probably one of the first cons I would think about. Um, the second con I would consider is um, it's always the perfect grilling temp, but if you want a different temperature, 
you're pretty much out of luck. Now, uh, the lid itself does have this valve where you can open and adjust and uh, kind of tweak the airflow just a little bit. Um, but that doesn't really give you that wide range of temperatures that you may get from other grilling products where you can adjust all these baffles and everything. Now, again, I feel like this grill is for the customer that doesn't want to mess with anything. You want a perfect grilling temperature every time, this is the grill for you. But if you're looking for something that you can smoke on or uh, maybe do different types of cooks or really radically adjust, turn the temperature way up and way down, um, that's not really possible with this grill. One more con to consider is actually the grill tools that come with the grill. Now, it is awesome that this thing comes with the grill tools, and I was super pumped when I saw this uh, roll in the box, and it has three different things, spatulas and tongs and everything. Um, but the big bummer, and maybe it wouldn't be as big of a bummer if I hadn't used their fire tools um, that came with our uh, solo stove fire pit. Um, like these fire tongs and the poker are just rock solid, super heavyweight. I mean, just feel like they're going to last a thousand years. They're going to dig these up years from now, <laughs> way after I'm gone, and think, wow, that guy had really great fire pit tools. Um, that cannot be said of the grill tools that come with this. Now, they're fine. I may be way overthinking it, but even some cheaper grill tools that I had in my drawer already, I feel like perform actually a little bit better than these. Um, you can see they kind of use this rolled metal instead of a solid piece of metal, so they feel flimsy. Uh, they don't go together all that great. Now the spatula works fine, and again, and again, I'm overthinking that stuff, but when you're paying this amount of money for a package like this and wanting kind of a premium product where everything else in the package feels so sturdy and so over-engineered, these definitely feel like a little bit of an afterthought. That brings us to our last con, um, and that is as much value as you do get in the package for this grill. Again, you get covers, you get accessories, uh, you get different stands. Um, there's a lot of value there and a lot of really functional, awesome design there, but you're definitely paying a premium price. Uh, so charcoal grills, good charcoal grills, you're thinking several hundred dollars already. This whole package for the grill itself, and as of making this video, you can't buy the grill alone. You have to buy the package, uh, but the bundle itself is about $575 as of the making of this video. And that's expensive for a grill. Now, if you're buying a grill, that you want to last your entire life and you have a very specific use case for, then this is very likely the charcoal grill for you because it is killer. Um, but just keep that in mind as you're shopping around. There may be cheaper options um, if you don't need as high end of a product, if you don't need something that um, is, is easy to maintain and take care of. There's tons of options out there, but um, you are getting a lot of value for the price. You're getting all those extras in there. You're getting covers. You're getting all these things you would buy anyway are included in the package, and you're getting a pretty incredible lifetime warranty. Uh, but keep that in mind as you shop around and try to decide if this is the grill for you. So there you have it. We love our Solo Stove Grill. It is really an over-engineered charcoal marvel that is just an awesome grilling experience. Um, it just stays the perfect temperature all the time. Um, it is a little pricey, but it is so easy to use. Um, it's always perfect every time you fire it up. Easy to clean. Um, I tell you what, our burgers, our steaks, our chicken always had that perfect amount of char. Uh, cooked really fast. The charcoal we use on it lasts a long time thanks to that awesome convection cooking. It always just stays hot and ready to go for at least 45 minutes. So it's a really, really good option if you're looking for a charcoal grill that's going to last your lifetime. So um, we're going to research prices and put the cheapest price we can find down in the description for this video. And of course, you can always find it at solostove.com. Um, I hope this review has been helpful to you. Uh, if you like it, please hit that like button. It helps the channel out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. We'll see you next time.